doing well and having a good day. So today we're going to be starting on doing the main flower on this section of linen. So it's in two stitches, we've got the closed fly stitch and the long short stitch and today we're going to be starting on the closed fly and I thought this is a stitch that I definitely need a bit of practice with so I thought we could all have a look at Philippa's video again to get some more pointers on how to do it properly. So for the closed fly stitch you come up beyond the tip of a leaf and these almond shaped leaves are ideal for this come up beyond the tip and go down at the top of the vein. So you're making one straight stitch as the foundation stitch and then move that stitch slightly out of the way and come up at the top of the line of the actual marked leaf. Leave a loop hanging down and go down at the opposite line. Now I use my second finger to hold that loop out of the way and then come up through the base of your first stitch and bring your needle down dragging it towards you slightly and just tension that stitch so you've made a V shape with that second stitch now hold that down with a couch going down so just one single stitch going down through the vein of the stitch now I like to come up behind each stitch as you work down this leaf and that covers the edge beautifully so just come up it doesn't matter which side you come up on one side go down on the other and come up at the base of that couch stitch and make another one these couch stitches look like vertebra down the middle they should show so make them about an eighth of an inch long keep the steep angle by coming up deep into the shape, so come up high into the shape on one side and then on the other. So as you can see these stitches aren't left-handed or right-handed but they're worked from the top down, they're worked vertically. And I always find by bringing my hand towards me or using the weight of my hand as you stitch down actually it keeps a very even tension. If you stitch from this angle and work across as if you're writing then that actually is a different tension and it's very difficult to keep the same weight in your hand. As you get to the base of the leaf you'll find that the V uses up the shape. If it's an unusually shaped leaf you might have to just go up and down in the same hole at the end. So use the same action but instead of progressing down the shape just pop your needle down in the same hole and this makes for a really lovely neat finish down here. That was really useful. I don't know about you, I say this every time we watch the videos but I do find them so useful to go back every so often just to get a little refresher on what we're meant to do. So I've got my needle ready in this lovely green colour. You'll notice it's the same green as one of the stems coming up to the flower. So tomorrow we will get started on stitching our closed fly stitch. Mm -hmm. 